The reason you aren't consistent is because you're here right now, not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Our brains are really good at coming up with all these elaborate plans and reasons why we can't do what we know we are supposed to do. So one of the main reasons that you probably aren't consistent, you aren't disciplined, you aren't doing what you're wanting to do is because you're sat on YouTube trying to figure out the best way to do it. Our brains are not always going to lead us down the perfect path. Sometimes you have to trust somebody else's judgment or put your brain and how you feel in the back seat and not worry about what it's trying to tell you. Sometimes your brain is, is it doesn't want to do the hard stuff. It'd rather get dopamine. It would rather take the easy way out. So it's going to try and convince you that you need to have an exact plan, know how to get from A to Z with no risk involved. And the only reason that your brain's trying to convince you to do that is so you don't actually have to go do what you're supposed to do. I don't know exactly what I'm doing right now making videos, but it's something that I was interested in. So I'm just doing it, right? When I first started the gym, I didn't exactly know what I was doing, but I went anyway. And when I got serious with it, once again, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't entirely sure what I was doing. I didn't have an exact A to Z plan of how I wanted to bulk up and gain muscle and what I should eat, etc. But you just do it. You just have to get stuck in and do it. So the idea of people not having the ability to be consistent, not having motivation or can't be disciplined, that is not real. You just have to do it, whether you want to or not. I don't always wake up in the morning and want to go to the gym. This morning is the perfect example. I've just got back from the gym, did arms and shoulders. Of all days that I should be happy to do, it was today, but I, I had a pretty pretty bad sleep. I was very tired, had a big day yesterday, and I had absolutely no desire to go to the gym, but I did anyway. You just have to start doing what you know is best for you, opposed to what feels best. Forget about how you feel. It, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. When it comes to what is good for you and what's important in your life, that has to supersede how you feel. It has to supersede everything, right? You need to select a few things, pick only a few things, don't try and overextend yourself and make those your main goals and dedicate yourself no matter what. And what you'll learn is that the more you do this and the longer you go, the more you realize you're capable and the more your word means something, the more your discipline means something, right? Like at the start when you said, oh, I'm going to do this today, you know, most of the time you didn't. But for me, for example, I've gone to the gym every single day for about two months now. And now when I say I'm going to do something, I'm more likely to do it. I'm in the habit of following what I say. There's been plenty of days over that two months that I haven't wanted to go to the gym. Or for example, I, I read 30 pages a day. There's been days that I haven't wanted to read 30 pages a day, but I do it, right? So if you're, if you're, if you're someone that's constantly looking at YouTube videos, constantly trying to find ways and guides on how to do, be consistent, how to have motivation, how to have this, how to have that, stop. Stop watching YouTube videos. Stop wasting your time. Just do it. Start small. You know, for example, with the gym, right? I go every single day, and obviously, some people would say, you know, you, you know, there's no, you need a rest, etc. For me, I'm a massive momentum-based person, right? I don't want to risk losing my momentum by taking a rest day. I would rather go in. I'd rather get slightly suboptimal gains or I'd rather be slightly more tired or I'd rather just do an easy easy session. You know, I think once or twice I've gone and I've just done abs and like rotator cuff and a couple things, not a massive session, right? For me, if you're anything like me, you're, you're massively momentum-based. So I can get really hooked onto something and, and, and go for it. But the second I start slowing down and losing that momentum, in my life anyway, I found it very difficult to get back on the on the horse. So the way I'm living my life right now is I'm I'm all in. So I go every single day of the gym. I read every single day. And if for some reason, like a couple of days ago, I just couldn't get the time to read, then I have to catch it up the next day or the day after that. And at least by the end of the week, it has to be caught up. So I do 30 pages every day. The other day I had to do 71. Uni just went back. I had two massive days in uni. I didn't have the time. So I owed 41 pages and I had 30 for that day. So I just sat down and I, I read 71 pages. You just have to do it. You have to make your word mean something. When you say you're going to do something, you have to do it. That's obviously important with your relationships with people in the world as well. But there's something really positive about trusting your own word and trusting yourself. There's something oddly euphoric about 
knowing that I go to the gym every single day, no matter what, there's this strength you feel from being super disciplined and doing what you know is best for you. You know, people, you can watch Netflix, you can relax, you can give yourself time to chill, that's okay. But you need to be spending as much time as you can doing the things that are good for you, what makes you feel better, what progresses your life, etc. So yeah, that's really the purpose of this video is just to say, stop watching YouTube videos on how to be consistent, stop watching videos how to be, how to be um, motivated, stop reading about it and just do it. You just have to do it. There's no shortcut, there is no easy way. Start small with 10 minutes of reading a day with a 30 minute gym session every day and build and build and build and build and add more, add more things, right? You just have to do it.